It's time to sit down and make music. You start by writing some chords, then you lay down some drums and you begin adding more sounds. As the time passes, the song gets bigger and more complex. You feel overwhelmed with all the tasks that you have to do. The arrangement, the structure, sound design, sound selection, writing lyrics, processing your vocals, mixing, mastering. You have to keep track of all those things in order to finish a full song. And you're just one person doing 10 different skills at the same time. There are people out there who are just only mixing engineers or mastering engineers or songwriters. But you have to do all of them. And the fact that there are a million tweaks that you can apply to your track, it makes it even worse. A bunch of thoughts appear in your head while working on the track. Oh, I forgot to add that specific plugin here. If I change this clap, then my drum loop is gonna sound way much better. But remember, there is this one preset in Serum, so I can add it. My song is gonna become way much more interesting. If I sound design a little bit more, then I might come up with something insane. But I was watching a video the other day with the best distortion plugin. I should buy that it's one. It's gonna make a lot of difference. But I don't have a professional studio. I will never be able to mix and master properly my tracks. Just stop. It's too much, isn't it? Perhaps you're questioning why do you even put yourself in this situation? Is it even worth spending hours and hours in front of a fucking screen? Music production became so complicated and you feel too overwhelmed because there's so many things to learn and practice. I used to have the same thoughts and emotions every single day. And as weird as this sounds, this is the exact visual presentation of my mind when I started getting deep into music production. I used to have this picture playing in my head 24-7, but I was always aware of the fact that music production is gonna be difficult, it's gonna be confusing, I'm gonna feel overwhelmed. So what is the main problem of this video? You are overwhelmed with music production. How do you overcome it? How do you get to the point where you don't have to think of all those things and just make music flawlessly? What is the secret? When I was 18 years old, I had a moment of realization. A moment that completely changed my perspective on how I approached every single skill in life. Now, hear me out, this is gonna make sense. It was the first day at learning how to drive a car. I was sitting in the driver's seat and the instructor was next to me and it was around 7 p.m., everything was dark. There was this brief light coming from the road lamps into the car and I was just barely see the pedals on my feet. And as we were parked in this empty, silent road with no cars, he started explaining to me how the pedals work, how to use the gearbox, how to steer the wheel, the synchronization in between all those things. And I felt overwhelmed as fuck. I was like, holy shit, there's... I had to keep track of so many things at the same time. And I was like, this shit is so fucking difficult. I'm not gonna make it. And my palms started getting sweaty. My heart rate was increasing. And I started getting a little bit scared because he told me in 30 minutes, we will go on the main road with other cars and drive completely like a normal person and i was like this is my first lesson you're gonna put me on the main road with other cars and he was like well this is how you're gonna learn don't worry i'm gonna be next to you everything is gonna be fine and at that specific moment something hit me a thought appeared in my head it was more like a question and i said to myself every single human being on this planet earth can literally drive a car why can't i do it and that's when the fear became determination i was still overwhelmed with all the things that i had to do but my whole mental approach to the situation flipped 180 degrees. So I started driving slowly and steadily, the car turned off like a couple of times, but I started to get the hang of it. We get on the main road and it started raining and I was like, shit is about to go down, I'm fucked. But the determination did not leave. I was still having that thought at the back of my head, like everyone can do it, I'm gonna do it too, I don't give a shit. I don't even care how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it no matter fucking what. And after driving very carefully, I managed to get the car at my place and the instructor said to me, I'll see you tomorrow. And then day after day, I started improving on the skill of driving. And every lesson I took, my palms were less sweaty, my heart rate was closer to the normal, and I was feeling less overwhelmed. Until I got to a point where I could drive flawlessly without even thinking about shit, it became like a second nature to me. And now whenever I sit in the car, I don't have to think about the gearbox or the pedals. Or, okay, I'm still aware of them, but I don't have to constantly think of them because I mastered this skill. I'm not overwhelmed by anything. And I just drive like it's another day. So here is a basic graph on the relationship between feeling overwhelmed and mastering a skill. The more you practice a skill and move towards its mastery, the less overwhelmed you feel. And me thinking back to that memory, I'm wondering, no matter how overwhelmed I felt, the determination did not leave. But why? Because everyone can drive. Which means if I don't manage to master the skill of driving, then everyone around me will consider me dumb and incapable of 
driving. I will look like a complete fucking idiot. So my determination stemmed from social pressure. But when it comes to mastering the skill of news production, there is no social pressure. Nobody will consider you dumb or stupid if you don't master the skill of music production because not everyone does music production. And music production in general is a way much more difficult skill than driving. So from where do I find that determination for music production in order to reach the point of mastering this skill and not feeling overwhelmed and just doing it flawlessly like a second nature? I feel like a big part of my determination when it came to driving a car not only stemmed from social pressure but also having an instructor next to me. But you don't have an instructor next to you when you're doing music production. You're just thrown in the depths of the ocean and you're told to figure it all out by yourself. So right now is the most interesting part of this video and I will show you how to be your own instructor. So right now you're here, you're feeling confused, you're feeling overwhelmed, you don't know what to do, there's too much shit to handle and you wanna get to the other side where you're fully focused, you're in a flow state, you don't have to think about shit, you're just doing music like it's natural. What is that one thing that holds you back from going to the other side? A structure. And what do I mean by structure? Let's take my own story and analyze the skill of driving. How do you master the skill of driving? Well, you need to learn how to use the gearbox, how to use the pedals, how to properly steer the wheel, develop a synchronization in between all those three things. You have to learn the stop signs and some other extra things. So pretty much in order to master the skill of driving, you need to learn all these different side skills. Now, what about music production? Obviously, music production is a way much more difficult skill. So there are gonna be way much more side skills to learn and I always think about this it's like building a wall so let's start with the basics first you gotta learn that your digital audio workstation it might be FL studio logic whatever the fuck it is you need to learn some music basic music theory melody chord writing structuring a truck arranging a truck which means gluing all the elements together in a way that the song progresses nicely sound designing mixing mastering proper sound selection organization developing a unique sound or maybe some vocal processing or maybe writing some lyrics and the list goes on. Obviously, there are some other side skills under the music production umbrella, but these are the most important ones. And now we go to the more practical part of this video. We have this big wall in front of us. Our goal here is to find the weakest block and try to upgrade it. So what you have to do is to sit down and listen to one of your trucks and you have to be 100% honest with yourself. So you listen to the track very carefully and you're like, mm, okay, so you listen to the break and then you're like, mm, I, I believe I can improve a little bit my melody, chord writing. Then you get to the drop and you're like, like, hmm, I feel like the sound designing in the drop is kind of boring. I should probably improve a little bit on the sound designing, especially with the basses and the bass lines. Hmm. And then you go from the drop to the other break and you're like, hmm, I feel like my transitions are a little bit weak. So, okay, we can improve on those three things. So we have melody core writing, sound design for the drop, which is like basses, bass lines, and then we have the transitions. So you have these three blocks that you can fucking upgrade. So how do you improve on each block individually? The best way to approach this is to say to yourself, okay so for this week I'm gonna sit down and focus on improving my transitions so you can literally write down okay week one fix transitions and there are two ways to go for this the first way is to listen to your favorite artist tracks analyze their transitions and after you analyze them you sit down by yourself and then you try to copy or replicate the exact same transitions now I know there might be people in the comment section like oh what about you copying other people's music like shut up bro we're focusing on improving your transitions not like completely copying other people's tracks and then releasing them and after practicing those different transitions you will realize they will start to get stored at the back of your head and now whenever you sit down to make music you don't have to think about the transitions anymore because they are already stored at the back of your head and you can recall them whenever you want you've already upgraded you've already improved in that specific area and the second way is that you can type in YouTube like how to improve my transitions music production you you watch the first video and then you hop on FL studio for example and then you practice it for a good 30 minutes and after you practice it then it gets stored at the back of your head now one week ago you were confused and overwhelmed with the transitions but now after some daily practice for a whole week your head is more clear and you don't have to think about it that much now i'm not saying that you will know everything about transitions you're gonna be a fucking godlike transitioner like obviously it's gonna take more time to completely master that side skill but you will have a better understanding on how to do better transitions and you're gonna be more comfortable with them now this is for one side skill only this is for one block only and i want you to look at the bigger picture here what if you start feeling less over 
overwhelmed on each side skill individually. The more side skills you feel less overwhelmed, the less overwhelmed you will feel in music production in general. And that's what I've been experiencing in the past year. Right now, I'm at a point where I can make music flawlessly and it feels like a second nature to me. I just sit down and just make music without even thinking about shit. Now, I'm not saying I'm a platinum record producer, I'm a godlike fucking producer, but I'm at a point of like, after around five years of practicing this skill, I, I just don't feel overwhelmed by anything. There is more room for my creativeness go in instead of having to think of all those things constantly about mixing, mastering, la di da di da 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 I just know how to do all this stuff right now. And it, it allows my creativeness to be way much more boosted. And if I think about myself three or four years ago, that shit was frustrating. But that's what I realized is part of the process. You need to go through those shitty fucking harsh trial and error situations in order to get to this moment of like, it's like a huge relief. Right now I'm chilling. I can sit down for two hours, be fully focused in a flow state and make something really nice. So what is the main process here? First of all, you listen to your truck, then you analyze your truck, you look at the wall and you see which block is the weakest and you focus on it. The next step is to learn and improve. By using those two methods that I listed on top, you sit there and improve that specific side skill. And that's it. And the more you repeat this process, the more side skills you upgrade, the closer you get to the point of mastering the skill of music production. Now, if you're still watching this video, it means that you probably have more attention span than all the other people that clicked away from this video. And why do I mention this? Because your attention span and your focus are the most important factors when it comes to mastering a skill. Patience and persistence. Everything that I said above, it takes time and effort to achieve it and please do not expect the quick fix the easy win the the fast results because this idea has been pushed out from the media since the 90s how to get rich fast how to become the next big artist with these simple marketing strategies how to get 10k followers as fast as you can and this whole thing ruins the idea of mastering a skill and what about effort and consistency people don't want to hear this stuff nowadays people don't want to hear me say that mastering the skill of music production is gonna take years they are impatient and their attention span dropped almost to zero. The other day I was hanging around with some friends and we were in the living room and we were just talking and goofing around and then the TV was on and it was playing some advertisements and I shifted my focus completely to the television and I was watching the advertisements. I kid you not, every single advertisement was based on this quick, easy fix, short term results. There was like this specific ad that blew my fucking mind. There was this 35 year old woman who was just taking pictures with her phone and she just takes the picture and she's like boom boom boom. She puts it on social media, she gets zero likes, zero comments and she's fucking depressed now a fucking product a face mask pops out of fucking nowhere she puts it on she wakes up the next day she's 10 years younger and she takes another picture she posts it on the social media and she gets a shit ton of fucking likes and comments and i was like do people actually believe this shit? And every advertisement is based on that. And the worst part about this is that we grew up with the television. We grew up with the internet. We've been exposed to this whole quick, easy fix idea for our whole lives. And all these things are gonna affect you on the long run. Your mindset is gonna start turning into this easy fix, short-term results. You will never have the patience to sit down and master a specific skill. And these companies don't give a shit about you. They just wanna make you more stupid so that they make more money. And as sad as this sounds, that's how the world works nowadays. That's the reality. And I don't even wanna mention about TikTok or YouTube Shorts or our Instagram Reels. That shit fucks up your attention span. How do you expect yourself to sit down for 30 minutes completely not focused without any distractions without picking up your phone without thinking about anything else completely focused engaged in your fucking passion you just can't let's say for example you're in the classroom when was the last time you managed to pay attention to your teacher for more than five minutes without any thoughts appearing in your head without talking to your classmate without getting distracted without drawing with if it's less than five minutes then fuck man that's fucked up and i personally feel like the biggest reason why some people get to master and get better on a specific skill than others, it's their focus, it's their attention span. It's how patient they are, and that's how they end up outworking their competition. And nobody can catch up to them. Anyways, I hope you get my point. I feel like it's best to keep this this last idea that I told you at the back of your head when it comes to mastering the skill of music production, because whenever you feel impatient or too overwhelmed with all the things that you have to do, do them no matter what. Put your feelings a little bit on the side and be like, okay, I'm gonna sit down and master this skill. If you actually love making music, if you're actually truly passionate about this, just 
do it for the sake of it. And you will be looking back at yourself six months ago, one year ago, and you will be so grateful that you spent that time suffering and trying to overcome this whole bullshit that we all go through. And you gotta be like, thank God I've, I was dedicated. Thank God I was patient. Thank God I was doing it every single day, no matter how I felt. I hope this video helps you bring a little bit more clarity to your head and bring a little bit more structure on how you approach music production. Yeah, thank you for watching. You can go check out my website. I got some free stuff for music production. I also got some packs that you can also buy if you want to buy them. You know, subscribe on the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, until the next time.